Take me to Piccadilly, the heart of London's West End. Take me to Piccadilly, London's gold-tipped rose. To the realm of riches, rank and those who rule. So I can walk amongst giants of art, fashion and science. Man's fashion, as we know it, is owed entirely to one man. And that one man is... He ended up dying alone in France in absolute poverty, but apparently he was still impeccably dressed. <laughs> Take me to Piccadilly, where the fruits are champagne truffles. Take me to Piccadilly, the muse of so many. Here time has scribed his signature, glowing with pride supremely, the clock strikes Regency. Said, I do wish you wouldn't use this club as a urinal. <laughs> and Lord Birkenhead said, oh, I see. It's a club as well, is it? <laughs> Take me to Piccadilly, a bejeweled, brave, buoyant beauty. Take me to Piccadilly, the mistress of the old palace, standing gracefully at his side. She seduces his subjects with charming charades and brilliant arcades. Winston Churchill wore number 127, which was also worn by Eva Peron. It was a unisex perfume. Thank you. Sweat, goddammit, was a way to keep a man clean. Take me to Piccadilly, the West End fairy tale. Take me to elegant, eccentric, eclectic. Piccadilly, where even the waters celebrate. Here the shops have secrets and stories to tell, and everyone falls for this stucco magic spell. And their vegetable chef that night was Ho Chi Minh. Sometimes it feels like the whole world comes to Piccadilly. Yeah. Take me to Piccadilly, where the world passes through. Take me to Piccadilly, London's loveliest point of view. Take me to Piccadilly, where dreams come true. Oh Piccadilly, I will come and fall in love with you. I've just been on a wonderful London walk, uh, a village called Piccadilly, and it's been fantastic, fantastic guide. Um, we've been to all sorts of interesting places, uh, had some free chocolate and really, really enjoyed it. It's well worth going on. Katie's been fantastic actually, I've learned lots today. Thank you. She was so interesting, brought everything to life. And I, although I've lived in London nearly all my life, I, most of what she said I, I didn't know, so it was uh, fantastic and highly recommended to others.